Hi, I'm Andrea Klim from Turn to the Stars, and today I'm going to be covering the influences of the second half of February heading toward the full moon in Virgo on the 27th. So stay tuned for your personal forecast and for the universal forecast, meaning what influences us all. Hi Aquarius Sun sign and Aquarius Rising sign. This is your forecast for the full moon in Virgo occurring on February 27th. Uh, what is going to be highlighted for you in your life the most is other people and the changes that they're experiencing in their life and how that is affecting you. And, uh, you know, there's a level of emotional support that's provided for you on this full moon and there's this logical practical process that is really very 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 enlightening at this time and I would say that to pay close attention because we have a cluster of planets Saturn Mercury and Jupiter all in Aquarius and this full moon is really highlighting the bits and pieces, the details that are most important for you to become aware of that you, where you're being asked to change. And as I had stated before, all the fixed signs of the zodiac typically do not like change. And you're one of those signs, even though you're very intuitive, you're very intelligent, you're very more logical than most of the other signs, but you're also very set in your ways and set in your ideas and set in your thoughts. And you typically don't like anybody to tell you what to do or um, because there's a strength of knowing that comes with Aquarius. But from a very earthly standpoint, this is a month of great change and this full moon is going to highlight what that looks like for you and you may have other people offering you healthy crit critical um, uh, opinions and so you might want to think about what that looks like in your life rather than saying I already know that that's typically um, one of one of uh, Aquarius's strongest response is, I know, I know, I know. But I would have to encourage you on this full moon that there is some really great advice that you might keep be getting from other people. Be careful, take your time, discern what's best. But ultimately, you're going to find that your most fulfillment comes by expressing your heart, expressing your creativity, being artful, being playful, um, and just allowing yourself to relax a little bit and realize that you are really important in this whole big picture here on this earth because you do carry the energy that has the humility to look at the whole. From the very mo from the most positive responses of this Aquarius energy is being able to look at the whole, what's best for everyone, and what does that look like? And so nature's uh, message for you on this full moon is the mountain goat. There's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever you need to do to correct it. Um, so. I think that message is associated with allowing yourself to let go of what is pushing you out of balance and to take the steps to put that in motion or to uh, build that new structure. First break down that old structure and then build that new structure in your life. And so Aquarius, happy full moon to you and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Turn to the Stars. I appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, take good care. And remember, turn to the stars and you'll find your answers there.